Hey guys, Instagram released a new way on how to add instructions to your Instagram filters like this in the Spark AR Studio. And yeah, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can do this. So let's start. Hey again, so let's add some instructions to your Instagram filter here in the Spark AR Studio. The first thing we have to do is to go to the left hand side to our scene panel and here we click on the device object. When we have done this, we go to the right hand side and here we can find this instructions tab. Um, yeah, we can open and close this tab and underneath we will find two different kinds of instructions. There are the timed instructions and also the conditional instructions. The timed instruction will only be visible for a specific amount of time on the screen, like when the user opens the filter, like for five seconds or 10 seconds, and then the instruction disappears. On the other, other hand, there are the conditional instructions. So for example, you can hint the user to tap the screen and then when they tap the screen, the instruction disappears. So yeah, we will have a look on both types of instruction in this video. So let's start with the timed instructions. To yeah, create an instruction patch, we have to click on create next to timed. When we have done this, we can find a timed instruction patch here in our patch editor. So here we have three inputs, the show input, which is a pours input, the option input and also the duration input. So here when we um, want to select the option, there is yeah, no um, option we can, we can select because we have to um, yeah, add an instruction first we want to show. For this we go back to our instruction panel and here we can find a little plus on the right upper corner. So we click on it and then um, this window will open. And here we can search for all different kind of instruction we can yeah, add. So I will just here um, use the choose an option um, yeah, instruction and then I click here on insert. And now when we have done this, we can yeah, select an option here. So at the moment there is no instruction visible here on the screen, but we will yeah, change this now. So now we need a purse that triggers this instruction of the beginning of the filter. Spark AR has released a new update, so the newest update, and when this video is, yeah, <laughs> is live, we go to add patch, and here we search for a start patch. And here this start patch yeah, gives a purse when the effect um, starts. So for this, just click on add patch, and then you will find this patch in your patch editor. And now just connect this output, the next output with the show input of the time instruction um, patch. And also set the duration from zero to let's say five seconds. Now, when we restart our filter on the left hand side, um, we will see the instruction for five seconds here um, on the screen. So let's do this, click on restart. And here you can see choose an option. And after five seconds, this disappears. So yeah, now you know how to use this patch and how to create timed instructions. And yeah, you also have an output here. So when the instruction is completed, you can of course do another instruction. So we can um, do this here as well. So for this, I click here another times on create at the timed instruction. Then I will select another instruction. Um, for this, let's say something with fi face, find a face insert here as the option I select find a face and then I just connect this completed output with the show input of this timed instruction and I will set also the duration of this to five. So now I will restart my filter again. Here we have the choose an option instruction and then after five seconds it will change to the find a face instruction and after another five seconds this will disappear. So Nice, now we know how to use the timed instruction. Now we will do some conditional instructions. So I will delete everything here. And then, yeah, we will just create a conditional instruction patch. For this, also click on create next to conditional. And here we have this conditional instruction. And as you can see here, there is no duration option on this patch. So for this, I will just use also the, no, I will, create a new instruction, let's say tap to play. 
for the option I select the tab to play conditional and here we can already trigger this with show tab to play but I want to yeah show the instruction as long as the user taps on the screen so for this we need a new patch so a new add patch I search for tab for screen tab here we have this patch then we also need a switch here add patch switch and here we say just say um, yeah the gesture state output of the screen tab patch goes to the turn on input of the switch but we also need another patch here because when I connect this here and then I tap on the screen I have yeah the condition will show up when I tap the screen but I want it the other way around so the instructions should be on the screen as long as the yeah, user taps on the screen so for this we need another patch a not patch just insert it the output of the switch goes to the signal input of the not patch and the output of the uh, yeah not goes to the show input of the conditional instruction so now I restart my filter and now you can see the tap to play um, instruction is visible and when I tap now on the screen the instruction will disappear so yeah this is all the magic about the instruction instructions here in the Spaghi R studio and after this video I have to say instructions is a really hard word for me <laughs> but yeah I hope I could help you with this video if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice if you subscribe to it so you don't miss any new tutorials about the Spark AR Studio here on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!